Commander Scott Altman is using a space shuttle simulator while in the real one so he can practice for landing back on Earth. Uh, well, just to talk about uh, the laptop program, it's called Pilot. We have a little control stick, and it simulates uh, the reentry profile very nicely. Actually, one of the things I really appreciate about it is the pacing, because we've been up here, you know, almost, uh, it'll be almost two weeks by the time we land, and it's, it's been that long since I flew the shuttle training aircraft. So practicing that, the rhythm of the calls, the inputs that we make, that's, this program refreshes us on that and gives us a chance to work together and practice before we put it all on the line on landing day. This has been one of the highest profile shuttle missions since the return to flight four years ago, and one that saw the successful repair and upgrade of the Hubble Space Telescope. Here's how that release of the telescope played out inside the space shuttle. I'm going to select Five eight, seconds, seven, the mode switches in auto. Three, two, one, release. I'm backing away. I see you got it open. Okay, here comes the burn. Ten down posts. Mark. Seven. <laughs> Twenty. Oh, baby, look at that. And we've been the Lannis with the Zep 1 burn, uh, MET 1857. 24 feet. Okay, is that the keel camera on monitor two for me? And it was, you know, really close to us. Yeah. And uh, then, of course, when we let go of it, and then it's just sitting there for a second until the scooter initiates a separation burn, and then it goes right over our heads, and you can kind of see everybody sort of duck right. down a little bit because it looks so close. How many pulses so was that? Ten. Ten pulses. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Boom. John, today was a big day. We deployed the telescope. Mike Massimino has been roaming the shuttle with a camcorder, capturing the feelings of his crewmates throughout the mission. He asked three-time Hubble astronaut John Grunsfeld his thoughts the day Hubble was deployed. You know, it was really so busy, I didn't have time to think of it until Hubble was about, oh, 400 feet away and we're snapping away at the pictures and uh, everybody's, you know, moving around the cabin and you can hear beep, beep, as Drew is shooting the handheld laser. And all of a sudden I'm looking at Hubble going around, I turn to Scooter and I say, you know, this is really momentous. You know, we fixed Hubble, we finished it, we did it. I'll tell you, the, the people at Lockheed Martin who built this telescope, to a man or a woman, consider it their own. And after this mission, five amazing spacewalks, uh, just pushing through some very difficult tasks uh, and getting this telescope uh, all ready for, uh, for the rest of its mission makes us very happy. I think it's, I think it's wonderful that we can look forward to uh, uh, Hubble discoveries well into the next decade. The public and scientists around the world will see the results of the upgrade as soon as new images of the universe are captured. Astronaut Mike Massimino has been using social media like Twitter to share that excitement with the public. Uh, I've had some more time to uh, to put some put some things down. I, sometimes I just write a little note to myself, and then I'll tweet it a few moments later when I get by the computer. And it, it's worked out pretty well because it's just you know one line, a few words to try to describe what's going on. Uh, so it really hasn't been that much of a of a time impact, and it's been kind of fun for me. As I as I said earlier, this is such a cool experience. The the one regret I have when I look out the window and I, and I see how beautiful the Earth looks and how much fun it is to be up here and how rewarding it can be is that you can't share it with um, everybody. You know? But Massimino has taken and, uh, every opportunity between Megan, spacewalks and mission work uh, to try. It's been fun for us. It's been fun for me especially. And and uh, we're, what we're really trying to do is give uh, the folks down on the ground a chance to see what it's like to be up here and that, you know, we're just, uh, you know, re regular people who get a, have a really incredible job and uh, not too many people get a chance to see and do the things we get to do and uh, any way we can try to share them with folks uh, we try and that was this is one of our attempts at, at uh, trying to share what the experience is like and we, we hope people have enjoyed them. It's been fun doing them. David Waters, SpaceFlightNow.com.